Hello and welcome in our YouTube channel Metallurgical Facts. Today IIT Bombay has released information brochure for uh, GATE 2021 and uh, uh, they have made uh, many changes in GATE 2021 uh, related to the syllabus, related to the exam pattern, related to the question pattern and marks distribution also. So today we will try to discuss those things. I have already made one video of recent changes in uh, GATE uh, 2021. So I, I am putting the, that link, that video link in description. So you can, you can uh, watch that video to have a basic idea what changes IIT Bombay had made initially uh, in gate 2021 and in this video we will see what other changes which is related to the directly to the exam so we will see in this video okay so starting from the important dates of gate 2021 so the gate online application processing system is open uh, will be open from 14th of the september 2020 so it is on monday and the closing date for regular online registration application portal is on 30th of September. Okay, so this will close on 30th September, but you can do by paying extra fees for uh, in the extended date, extended period also. Okay, so I will discuss the fees in later on in later slides. Okay, so here uh, this is the end of extended period for online registration application fees with late fees. So they they will charge some late fees, and you can do the registration till 17th October for Gate 2021. Okay, and and they have given one one more uh, date that is 13th November this this date is basically for uh, rectifying your mistakes while filling the application form so you can change your category paper and examination cities or uh, by the 30th November okay and additional fees will be also charged in this uh, stipulated time time period okay so these are the uh, important dates uh, for gate activity okay and the few gate activities dates are also here so uh, release of the admit card will be on 8th of the january is it is as usual in previous years so in Jan in month of january in first week or second week they release the admit card for gate ex uh, gate exam or see so this is the gate 2021 examination uh, tentative schedule this is these are the dates we have already discussed in our previous videos so there is no need to discuss these things here so these are the dates 5th 6th 7th 12th 13th 14th so these are the dates uh, which is for gate 2020 exam for all papers okay and the announcement of the result will be on the second uh, 22nd of the march so this is the date uh, when uh, the announcement of the result will be pub uh, results will be published online through online through a, a application portal okay so these are the important dates for gate 2021 so now we will see the list of gate 2021 papers and corresponding codes so these codes are very important if you are from different branch so i have written uh, i have written the paper and the corresponding paper code uh, and in previous video also I have uh, discussed on these things. Okay, so this is uh, suppose this is aerospace engineering. So the branch code for this this is AE. Okay, agriculture AG. Suppose if we uh, we will talk for metallurgical engineering. So for metallurgical engineering this is MT. MT is the code, and they will uh, uh, in in further slides I will talk in uh, code. Okay, code of the paper. So, so this is very necessary to understand the code of that paper. What is the meaning of the code of that paper? So before this year, they uh, they have taken only 25 papers, but in this uh, in this year, they are uh, they increased the number of papers uh, and they they added humanities and social sciences and environmental science and engineering science in this uh, gate 2021. Okay, so this this slide I have already discussed in previous video. As you know, this year in 2020-21, uh, a student can write two exams in GATE 2021, but there is a combination for the subjects. So I have uh, made a table of those combinations from GATE information browser. So this will be very beneficial for a student. You can see which, for which paper, for which paper code you are eligible. Okay, so so these are the possible codes which is allowed for the second uh, second paper. Okay, so it, here here we have three tables and the first. The uh, first thing is that code of the first paper that is primary and the codes for the paper allowed as per the second paper. So suppose if you are writing for aerospace engineering AE, so you can write only XE that is general science, 
that is general science okay so these are the possible code that ag can write es paper that is environmental science and uh, engineering okay and like that bm can write bt and excel paper so i have already told you the paper code uh, uh, and which which paper code is uh, related to the which subject so you can see in the previous previous slide also okay so here if we will talk about metallurgical engineering branch so metallurgical engineering branch student can write the paper in ph and xe xe is general science and ph is basically physics so for metallurgical engineering student they can write exam ph and xe and uh, XC student, we, uh, those who will opt XC in a primary, uh, primary as a primary paper, so they can write A, chemical, CA, CH, ME, MN, MT, PE, PI, THF. Okay, so this is the maximum paper which people can write by opting the primary paper, uh, primary code as XC. So, so you will be allowed to choose only two papers from these combinations you will not allow to more than two papers and this is subjected to the uh, subjected to the uh, they, they have written the conditions that if the availability will be made uh, for the combination of those papers so they will uh, only they will allow then okay so uh, so suppose if if i am writing metallurgical engineering paper so i can write uh, one of the paper from ph and xe so i either i can write mt and ph or either i can or i can write mt and xe also okay so this is the combination for mt and same as for other branches also for c ar and es is option okay so for for mechanical engineering me they can write only xe that is uh, that is uh, general science okay so the so so you should not have any confusion in between these things you can opt two subject only and from two subject these are the combinations from which you can opt two subjects okay now we will talk about the application fee for gate 2021 okay so i have uh, uh, made two tables one is for uh, if if people will write the exam exam in india okay so this is the fee and this is remain same as previous year so female candidates have to pay 750 750 rupees if they will do do the registration in regular period that is 14th to 30th after 30th september it will cost 1250 means 1250 rupees for female candidates and for sc st pw category uh, candidates this will be applicable 750 rupees for uh, into the regular period and 1250 for uh, during the extended period okay for all other candidates means for general or ews it will be uh, 1500 rupees in regular period and 2000 rupees in extended period extended period is basically from 1st october to the 17th october okay so the fee this fees is basically uh, per candidate per candidate per paper means uh, this means uh, if you are writing two papers if you are choosing one primary paper and uh, which i have shown already the uh, uh, table for primary and secondary suppose if you are writing primary paper empty and you are opting physics in that secondary paper so you have to pay the fees of two subjects okay so you have to pay sub two subjects fees suppose you are writing for empty and you are from general category category so you you have to pay 1500 for empty and 1500 for ph also so this is the 3000 rupees for both the paper so this fees is uh, per candidate per paper okay so you have to keep in mind there there must no any confusion uh, for this this thing that that uh, either this fees is for both the subject or for one subject okay so this fees is for per candidate per paper this is not for both paper okay so if you will uh, if you will choose two subjects you have to pay two times okay two uh, means sum of the two fees that means 1500 plus 1500 you have to pay 3000 rupees on gate registration portal okay so this is the application fees for gate 2021 if we will talk about the revised syllabus of gate 2021 so iit bombay has revised uh, the syllabus of every paper every uh, every paper and subjects so you need to visit the iit bombay gate website and you need to uh, you need to uh, download your uh, syllabus you need to download the uh, syllabus according to the your uh, according to your subject code okay so for, here i am talking about metallurgical engineering so so if for metallurgical engineering they made they added one subject namely uh, the name of that subject is 
transport processes okay so this is the metallurgical thermodynamics earlier it was thermodynamics and the second subject they added that is transport processes or transport phenomena uh, say this is transport phenomena they have added in gate gate slavas okay so earlier extractive metallurgy was uh, there and now that extractive metallurgy was modified and it is known as mineral dressing sorry mineral processing uh, mineral processing and extractive metallurgy and rest of the things are the same means uh, means earlier it have physical metallurgy so uh, now it is also having physical metallurgy and mechanical metallurgy also and manufacturing processes okay so they have they have changed that uh, slavas inside this subjects okay so they have changes little, little bit so i will try to make one video on this slavas of the gate 2021 for metallurgical engineering students and we will talk there in details how to prepare these subjects and from where to prepare these subjects okay so for now what we understood we understood that transport phenomena and rate processes is the subject that that have been added for gate 2021 and extractive metallurgy is modified as mineral processing and extractive metallurgy okay okay and the uh, uh, and the and they have they have made changes the uh, changes few things inside this slavas in the inside this subjects also okay so we will see in details in our upcoming videos so now we will talk about the question pattern and this is for all branch so the question pattern is earlier it was for multiple choice question okay so uh, in multiple choice question they will give the four options and and we have to choose one of one of the correct option from that okay so that was known as mcq and for this mcq uh, uh, this was earlier of one mark or two marks okay for negative marking uh, they will deduct one by three for one marks and for two marks they will deduct two by three if you will do negative attempt okay so this was the multiple choice question and in this year they have made the changes in this pattern question pattern and they have added one more thing that is multiple select questions multiple select questions okay and this is known as msq basically in this question uh, they will give four options a b c d and you have to choose uh, from these options this may be uh, possible that one or two or many options may correct okay so multiple options may be correct from this set of questions so and they have already told that there is no negative marks for this type of question okay so for multiple choice of questions multiple choice of answers they have no negative marks okay so you can choose multiple uh, multiple answers for one question in multiple select questions so this is the new thing they have added in question pattern okay and the next thing is nat type so this was earlier they uh, added in gate uh, gate exam so this nat is basically numerical answer type numerical answer type question okay so for numerical answer type uh, there is no negative marks okay for this type of questions there is no negative marks and for msq that is multiple select question there is no negative marks but but for multiple choice question msq this will have negative marks that is 1 by 3 for 1 marks and 2 by 3 for 2 marks question for negative attempt okay and this may contain this multiple choice can may contain matching also and they can contain as a reason and reason as earlier in gate exam they asked as a reason reason matching this is the possible combination of the questions in multiple choice section okay and this is the numerical answer type you have to fill the integer value by uh, keypad by virtual keypad okay so every time you have to fill uh, the integer value or in uh, up to the decimal points or in rounded off figures okay so this multiple select question is new thing which have been added by the iit bombay in question pattern now i will talk about the marks distribution okay so uh, marks distribution is generally that is general aptitude for uh, there is a section that is general aptitude for this 15 marks is allotted for uh, for engineering mathematics say this is engineering math maths okay so this is engineering mathematics comes out of 13 marks and subject questions they may ask subject questions of 72 marks okay so this will be total of 100 marks okay so this is the marks distribution and this is not applicable this is not applicable for ar cy ey gg this is the code 
this is the code i am writing because i have already told you the meaning of this code so i am not again 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 and again repeating this one okay so this is ph physics xh and xl so this is the a this is the marks distribution for the branch except these branches for these branches this is not applicable okay and uh, for all other branches this is applicable okay so for for ar cy ma ey gg ph xh xl okay so this these are the eight branches for which this marks distribution is not uh, uh, not allowed okay so for this branch what is the marks distribution marks distribution is only through the general aptitude uh, general aptitude they will ask the general aptitude for 15 marks or 15 marks and the subject questions of subject questions of of 85 marks so this will be the 100 marks so engineering mathematics is not applicable for these branch okay so marks distribution is very very important for other branches general aptitude will be of 15 marks for engineering mathematics it will be 13 marks and the subject questions will be 72 marks so total it will be 100 marks question 100 marks paper okay and the total duration is 3 hours i am telling here the total duration is 3 hours okay and for ar cy ma ey gg ph xh xl the marking distribution is like this that general aptitude will be 15 marks and subject questions will be of 85 marks that will be total of 100 marks and 3 hours duration for questions and the subject combination i have already told you in previous slides okay so in this slide we will conclude what are the key changes made by iit bombay for gate 2021 okay so the first changes we can say that total number of subject paper is 27 that two new papers are introduced and the syllabus of all subjects have been revised so i will suggest you go through the iit bombay website and download your uh, syllabus i cannot discuss ev for every branch okay i for metallurgical engineering branch i will try to make one video uh, make one video on that uh, revised syllabus of gate 2021 okay so the other changes are they have added these multiple select questions in gate exam that is exam pattern that is question pattern okay so they included these question pattern multiple select questions okay so this will be of no negative marks as earlier i have described in previous previous slides okay so and the next changes they have made that a pupil can write or candidate can write two papers and the combination of those papers have already been given on the website and also i have discussed in this video okay so you can watch that also and the the third the last key change is that third year student can also write the gate exam okay so the third year student can also write the gate exam about the gate uh, about the gate scorecard one thing i want to let you know uh, this is also maybe the confusion gate score is, is still valid for uh, three years okay so when the gate result will be announced suppose it will be announced on 22 or 27 so so it will be uh, valid till three years from the release of the gate admit card uh, sorry gate uh, results okay so still the validity of the gate scorecard is for three uh, three um, three years okay and you can apply for psus you can uh, use this gate score for mtech masters okay and many more things i have discussed in uh, previous video and link will be put in the description section okay so you can watch that video also for uh, getting the more knowledge of the key recent changes in uh, gate 2021 okay so iit bombay has made these these possible changes which we have discussed earlier uh, I think we, I have not left anything. Uh, suppose if I have left anything, please do the comment in comment section. I will try to add those things in uh, in few upcoming videos. Okay, and and if you have any doubt, you can ask in comment section or you can message us on our Instagram page also. Okay, so subscribe our channel and press bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. Thank you.